guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel I should say so this is a reading I'm just deciding which deck I want this is a reading on Trisha Paytas and Moses proposing to her so this came from a few of you a few of you wanted me to do a reading on this just to do a reading on what the general energies are around this with um, Trisha Paytas and Moses. Is it going to be happily ever after? Um, are they going to walk down the aisle? What's going to happen? What are the energies around Moses um, popping the question to Trisha? Especially after the frenemies fall out, especially after Moses and Sister Healer um of h3h3 apparently having their disagreement behind the scenes and trisha causing that disagreement why would moses then go and uh, propose so a few of you have asked for this reading so i have listened to the people and a reading i will do so let's tune into the current energies between trisha i believe trisha is a taurus and moses who is scorpio when I was doing, let's tune into, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I was tuning into later on. Let's just see what cards come through. Too many? Oh, the card, the deck doesn't want to talk. If it doesn't talk, I may get another deck. Okay, let's go. Oh. <gasps> okay. Three of swords between them. Deception. How many do I have here? Is this no, that's too many. Okay. I get, I'm sorry guys, I get a real turbulent relationship going on here between them. This is a uh, this is a relationship of turbulence, and this is a relationship where he may have popped the question, but all is not what it seems. Sorry guys. Uh, I am shocked by this. I didn't expect these cards to pop out. But yeah. What? There is something. There is heartbreak. They're unhappy. It's what I'm being told is as if this proposal happened to paper over cracks of discord. Because there is deception around this proposal. This proposal is not what it seems. It's not like I have such overwhelming love for this person. You're meant to be in my life. It's as if this proposal is part of a strategy. It's not what it seems, guys. I don't expect to get this right off the bat. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um. Uh, guys, this is separation. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a bit shocked by this. Okay. I did not expect to get this right off the bat, but I'm, yeah, this, I'm not going to say that the engagement was fixed. Um, I don't think it's quite fixed, but there is some deception around it. Either the person popping the question, it was. Uh, yeah, but I'm just saying something's going to happen that's going to cause a separation. Or possibly they were separated for a while and this engagement was just meant to paper over cracks or to try to make another go at a situation. So, you know, when people are separated and then someone pops the question and says, I love you by way of making someone happy for them to come back together again. It's something along those lines that I'm picking up here. Because that Hermit card, Hermit talks about separation and being on your own. And next to the World card, mm -mm. yeah, and we have the Justice card. There is a situation that happened here, guys, that someone felt really that it wasn't fair is what I'm picking up on. Someone feels slighted by it. And yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, okay. And I know where we are now. Do you see this family card? I'm sorry, this is, and don't shoot the messenger, guys. I'm just reading the card. This is a family sort of card. There is, I think this is Moses and Hela again. It's, this 
proposal like you see it in front of the screens it was filmed they look very happy but behind the scenes when it comes to their respective families there is some tension going on behind the scenes there you know like they're painting a, um, an atmosphere of unity etc but there's something going on behind the scenes which is not fair is what I'm picking up on as well it's there's some mucky energy about this that guys I just said there's a mucky energy about this look what popped out the tower this is what I'm saying there is something with this wheel of fortune that's going to come to light because ace of swords especially the way it's being aspected with the hermit and the tower that talks about separation that talks about cutting away with the past cutting up with the old way of being so it's either this was just a strategic move to drum up media interest so it was like a false or it could be that they were separated before or they were on the brink of separating before because of a lot of family tension and infighting so the proposal was done by way of papering over the cracks, you know. Oh, don't leave me. Look, I, I, I'm proposing to you. I love you. Don't leave. It's almost as if it's done in that vein. But having the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower card, the Tower card talks about something that's a shock that's really unexpected, which the proposal was. It was a shock, but the way these cards are aspected, it's a shock and not in a good way. And notice this tower is being aspected next to the Hermit. I think that they were either separated or on the verge of a separating and this proposal just came out of the blue. You know, I, I think they were on the verge of an out. I wouldn't even be surprised whether there is some business or financial arrangement linked to this as well. Um, whether there is a business angle to this also. Guys, I did not expect to get this, but something just doesn't seem legit about this. Let's see what else comes through. Do I even have any? And what I notice as well, like it's Moses is Scorpio and the person in the, my previous video who said Moses was Scorpio. Thank you because I couldn't find that. Trisha is Taurus and as far as I can see Taurus's pentacles energy we just have one pentacles on the board notice guys there is no cups energy here there's no love here because cups talks about emotion emotional relationships we don't have any of that on the board here there is no love coming in this reading I'm not even 10 minutes into this and I'm not seeing any love at all you know, I'm 10 minutes into this. I'm not even seeing Scorpio. Well, I'm seeing Scorpio energy with the tower, which is, you know, a breakdown and a clearing out. We have the hermit, but I'm not seeing Trisha's energy in here at all. Whew. I mean, looking at this board, like if I just came into the room and I just, oh, for goodness sake. If I just looked at this board, I am not seeing any energy. And if I needed to figure out whether this was a Trisha and Moses reading, I wouldn't be able to tell. Let me just get that card that just flew on the ground, guys. I hate it when my cards fly like that. Okay, the card that just flew out was a star card. Yeah, this is a thing. It's as if they split and this is just managing to paper over the cracks. I, the impression, what I am getting from this is that this was meant to just heal things over. That's what I'm getting. I'm also picking up that there is an energy or there is someone who is very dominant and very controlling in this relationship. Controlling to the point of being overbearing is a word that the spirit guides are telling me but this was a strategic move to help 
get someone back you know they were separated before there's either they were separated before or they are uh, they are about to be separated because there is no cups energy that's come through in these cards yet and i'm getting very dominant a very dominant narcissistic controlling energy someone's very controlling here with this emperor and justice card and they're emotionally controlling someone else this proposal was meant as a way to claw someone back in to get them you know to claw someone back in to sort of heal and mend the relationship to pretend to be big happy family to pretend to be someone that you're not or to slight a family member this is not what it seems guys this is not yeah this is not um finally we have a king of pentacles we have um a Taurus energy on the board. Finally, after all this, we have a Taurus energy. I'm also being picked up, sorry guys, I'm being picked up on financial issues when it comes to um, Trisha. There's something to do with her money and to do with her finances that, let me just get some more cards to confirm what I'm picking up on oh my gosh guys I'm I'm get, the nine of pentacles is a single person card this and this is Taurus energy finally Trisha is appearing on the board once again no cups no two of cups no lovers cards no nothing this is a single person card this is a person who through their hard work through their grit They've made something of themselves. This is an exhibitionist card as well. This is someone um, displaying to the world. Yes, I'm one way. I'm wealthy. Everything else. But it's by the... It's by the tower. So... Finally, we get the lover's card. How long did we have to wait? But again, it's... This relationship's not what it seems, guys. Mm -mm. With the Emperor, the Justice, and the Three of Swords, there's something that's not quite right with this relationship. Someone's controlling or manipulating someone else. There's something with a financial issue also, is what I'm picking up on loud and clear. Yes, th that's what I was saying. It's something about a financial issue that I'm picking up on. And the Six of Pentacles came up. Guys, I'm being told something. Again, don't shoot the messenger, please. I have uh, I was told this at about six minutes into the reading. And I've tried to delay this message. I think Trisha was surprised by this. I think Trisha didn't expect it. I think the reason being that I think they were either on the verge of breaking up or had broken up. I think that she is playing along with this to see what bump in her career and monies and how she can milk it not in a bad narcissist not in a bad way but she is a very practical person when it comes to money and I think she is looking to see how she can leverage this but I don't see or I'm not picking up on any happiness per se when it comes to this I think that she is going along with it because it gives her something to, yeah, she has a lot of strength here. It's giving her something to blog about. You know, she, it's almost as if she spends her time pacifying someone and makes sure that she accommodates someone else. That is what this relationship is all about. But I think that she's doing it just to ensure that she could show to people that she has things in her life ticking over. Again, guys, not a cup 
and sight. No emotions, no love, nothing has come through. But there's something I was picking up early on by this Knight of Pen King of Pentacles about a finance situation. And the singleton card has come up. I think that, uh, I hate saying this, I don't want to say it, but I think this is an arrangement. I don't think it, I don't think they purposely went for it to be an arrangement. I think Trisha was surprised by all of it. I think if it was up to her, she would have said no, you know, and, uh, or she would have been surprised, then thought about it and then said no. But I think she's going along with it. Number one, it's content for her, for her channels and everything else. Number two, it's what she always wanted. She's afraid of being alone. Yep, because this lover's card is more of a choice. She has the choice to stay or the choice of walking away. And I think she's made the choice to stay. I'm channeling being afraid of being alone. And at least it's something... Yep, that's what I was saying. It was a complete surprise for her. Now we finally get a cup's energy. Finally. But it was a surprise to her. This news of the engagement was a surprise to her. And this is the thing. It facilitates her with the Eight of Wands on social media to talk about it on her platforms. It, get, it provides more content for her platforms, which would provide more money for her. But it was a surprise for her as well now the thing is finally we i'm seeing something that's clearly moses energy which is a scorpio now notice this is a page what this tells me with the fish is that if this was a surprise that he did but the fact that a grown-ass man sorry is coming through as a child speaks to me about his tendencies what a child children are very impromptu children are very you know you could play, you have, okay, you have a tendency, thank you spirit guides, you have a tendency to play games in a situation. You know, you have a tendency not to be straightforward. It just speaks to a manipulative tendency here, guys. I'm so sorry, but that's what my spirit guides are telling me. That's what the cards are producing. You know, I think it was a manipulative move on his part to propose to kind of claw her back in. I think she's clawed in. She's saying, all right, well, if I'm here, let's go ahead with it. Oh, thank you, spirit guides. And it means that she could just continue making money with H3H3, H3, with Healer, with Ethan, with Frenemies, you know? So let's continue to do that for as long as I can. She's looking after her money. I think that her money is not... There's something to do with her money. Either it's not as secure as you would think it is, or it's someone on Moses, on Moses side, probably on his side, where he sees the money potential in her. It's something to do with money that's coming through here as well. But I have to say that Trisha, for me, in this reading, is coming through as the innocent party. That's the thing. She's just going to move on with it. She's coming through as the more innocent party trying to make the best out of a bad situation sort of thing. She's going to move on with him. She's trying to make the best out of this situation. I don't see any marriage happening. I think that they were, they're going to try and make a go of it for a while is what this is showing. Yes, there we go. See, she's trying to avoid it or not see it for what it is. She's just going to put a bandaid over her eyes be in a defensive pose, you know, but, um, yeah, I think she's, yeah, oh my goodness, I did not expect to get this, guys, I thought that we were going to have a funny, cheeky sort of reading, but what I'm picking up is a toxic relationship situation, yeah, five of swords, I'm picking up a lot of toxicity here, this is a toxic relationship it's not good and believe it or not there is no cups there is no love nothing at all happening here there's no six of cups there's no two of cups in terms of meeting your soulmate there is no hierophant to talk about marriage there is none of that happening there's no queen of cups king of cups 
you know, their energies aren't even coming through on these cards. There is no love cards here. You know, it's, um, oops. And then we have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords talks about infighting also, you know. Oh, for, you know what? Oh, my goodness, these cards. Okay, Spirit Guides, thank you. I wouldn't use that deck as you spilled all my cards on the floor. I'm not getting up again. I'll continue with this one. Let's just, yeah. She's just going to milk this for what it's worth. It's just some money... She is just going to have a money grab from this. Either she is, Trisha is, or Moses is, or they're going to try and make some sort of financial arrangement from this. It's to see the potential for it to be a financial something. But yeah, even when we get a cups card, look at what we get, five of cups. This is not a happy, and we have the five of cups reverse as well. Uh-uh. The when he popped this to her, she was really surprised and not in a good way. They had already split or on the verge of splitting. They were arguing. There was something that someone had done that had left one of them feeling at odds. Guys, I don't have anything else to say. I've never had a reading so short and to the point and everything before. I even tried pulling out another set of cards to see if I could pull out other energies. The spirit guides threw them on the floor. Apparently, I don't need those cards. I just pick up on someone who is desperately unhappy here. Desperately unhappy. And they're trying to milk this and milk this situation for all it's worth. I think Trisha, um, not I think, I'm being told that Trisha is thinking, let me just milk this for however long I can. And um, hopefully, I think she's trying to hope that the situation would get better. You know, she doesn't want to see the situation for what it is because she's hoping she wants the happy ever after. That's what she wants. But it's not going to come with this Five of Cups. No. He is too immature, too controlling. And you wouldn't assume it of it. It's very much undercover. I'm being told gaslighting as well. Because to look at him, you wouldn't think it. But it's. I picked up on his energy when I did the frenemies reading. I've tagged the frenemies reading above. And I'll tag it to the end of this video. I picked up on his energy when I did the frenemies reading. And that same energy is coming through again here in terms of control in terms of wanting to have their way gaslighting playing games because that's what this page of cups is all about it's a very youthful energy um not youthful but immature energy it's a young energy it's immature it's people wanting their way it's playing games and it's there next to the tower card as well and next to the Five of Cups, this energy is not well aspected at all. Not at all. And it's his energy. He's Scorpio. He's water. That's his card. You know, so could you imagine getting engaged to a man and your man's turning up as a child? Your man has childish, immature energy about him? That's not good. That's not good. I think the truth about this situation and what's really, gonna, and what's really going on is going to come out. With the Queen of Swords. It is going to um, come out. But I'm not seeing. Um, yeah. The truth is going to come out. Trisha. It, is she going to be vindicated if it comes out though? In fact I think it's more going to come out in his favour actually. It's more going to come out in his favour. But yeah, it's, guys, I'm not even going to pull anymore because I'm just be pulling for the sake of pulling. But this doesn't look good, unfortunately. So in terms of a happy ever after, I am not seeing it. I think that they will be together for the time being in order to, um, you know, see how they can make some money out of it. I think it took Trisha by surprise. And, you know, to me, these cards speak as though they were separated or on the verge of separating. 
Um, let's see what are the final thoughts that will come through. They were separated on the verge of separating. He's pulled this, you know, by way of getting her back on side. Yep, the moon, deception. Deception. He did it by way of getting her back on side, but I think she will quickly realize with that five of cups upside down that things aren't going to improve. Trisha is going into this with a really open, honest, pure heart. You know, she wants to have that relationship with him. She wants things to improve, but I don't think he has the capability of doing it. Yep, yeah, seven of pentacles. She wants to work at it. She wants things to improve, but I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible at all. I'm so, so sorry. This is just, I, I'm, I'm shook. I'm really shaken by this i did not expect this whatsoever yeah that's trisha she's the empress you know that's her trisha is one of those people where she needs more i'm being told by my spirit guide she needs more confidence in herself more confidence in herself more confidence in her abilities but i think with this seven of pentacles it comes back to the finance and money with her I think where she expected or she expects or wants her career to be is not where it is. And she's and what I'm being told is that Trisha is doubting herself. And therefore, with this Moses situation, she's playing along with it. But she doesn't have to doubt herself. Her career is not where it wants to be with the Seven of Pentacles. That's coming through loud and clear. But she doesn't need to doubt herself, though. She just needs to have more confidence and trust in herself as a personality trust in her fans that is it this is a very introspective card notice this healing card this is the second time this card has come up this is trisha's card there's a lot about herself she needs to go inward she really needs to heal herself that's what um this card is saying that trisha needs to do yeah she needs to trust herself she needs to heal that divine feminine aspect of herself what this high priestess also tells me is that trisha knows this isn't going to work she knows it she knows she knows she knows but i think she is just trying to cling on to this situation okay any more final thoughts before we wrap this up there we go that's that page of cups immature again she knows that how could you be a high priestess hanging out with a child she knows it's not going to work she knows Anything regarding Moses energy that can come through in these final thoughts? Yeah. He is very... He's trying to make a new start with her. She is looking for love. That's the thing with Trisha. She's looking for love. But it's part of healing. She needs to end things with the old way and mannerisms that she has. But in terms of Moses' energy, that's the thing. He has come in to make a new start with her and a new pledge of love and a new beginning. He's made a promise to her that things are going to change. The thing is with swords energy though, swords energy could be very, again, it's that strategy, it's the play on words, it's how they twist situations, but it's not going to last. She's She wants something new, she wants a break with the old, she wants a break with what their part, what their relationship has been so far, she wants a break with the mind games, with the manipulation, she wants them to communicate in a different way, in a more positive way, in a more respectful way. In terms of how they communicate, in terms of gossiping, I'm being told the word gossip. For some reason there's a lot of gossiping or things that she is told behind the scenes, she doesn't want to be part of that anymore. That is going to be her criteria moving forward for love from him. But that is what he tends to be. He tends to be very gossipy. He tends to be, you know, it's a lot of, yeah. Last card. Ha. Huh. That's what I'm saying. That's the last card here. This, there's a lot of anxiety over this. He brings a lot of anxiety. 
with him, a lot of mental anxiety. He plays on he plays a lot of mind games. That's what I'm picking up with him. That's that's all I have, guys. Give me your comments below because I am shocked by this reading from beginning to end. I'm really shocked. I did not expect to see this, but I've used two different decks, and these two different decks both say the same thing. This is not anything based on with this card with this anxiety card no this is nothing based on yep look guys I, I can't make this up we have the seven of swords again this is a different deck this is deception this is manipulation this is lies this is mind games and this is all for because the top is trisha the bottom is um moses that's the thing. He plays games that causes her anxiety. Guys, I'm done. Um, leave me your comments below. I, I'm really sad by this. Really, really sad. Trisha doesn't deserve this whatsoever. But two different decks, same outcome, same cards. So don't come for me by disliking the video, coming for me hard. As you, you guys use your eyes, I use two different decks. The same manipulative toxic cards came up in both decks. Okay, so don't come for me. Okay, guys, I look forward. Subscribe if you know this reading resonated. Leave your thoughts in your comments. I feel I really want to hear what you guys think about this because I am shook. So I really want to hear what you guys think. I'm still shaken, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.